Unbelievable. You'll be amazed by these people's ingenuity. Yes, in Vietnam, people plant large rows of bamboo along the old courtyard walls. As these bamboos grow, they are cut periodically, and then comes the moment when all the bamboos connect. With the final cut, a natural wall is formed, adding to the beauty of the home. These machines are harvesting carrots in an incredible way. First, a rotating bar loosens the soil. Then, a mechanical system grabs the carrots by their leaves and gently pulls them from the ground. As the machine moves forward, the carrots rise into the air before falling onto a conveyor belt that takes them away for cleaning. These magnetic pedals will transform your cycling. On tough terrain, feet can easily slide off the pedals. But this clever design uses a magnet that firmly connects to your biking shoes. With over 100 pounds of pulling power, it keeps your feet tightly on the pedals and pushes your performance to higher levels. The ship you're seeing is called an icebreaker, a special vessel designed to break through sea ice so other ships can pass. It can cut through ice up to 9 feet thick and is mainly used by the Russian government during winter when the sea freezes and normal ships can't sail. This way, Russia can keep its import and export routes open even in extreme cold. Look, when this poor child collected trash from the streets of the village and city and built a plane using only empty plastic bottles, everyone gathered in the back street of his house to see his plane fly. This poor child was very scared inside the plane because if it didn't fly, everyone would make fun of him. Then, as the plane started moving, his parents thought it would definitely fly, but the poor child's plane crashed into some bushes. Do you know Thai people don't stop even in the rain? While roads are closed when it rains, people in Thailand use small boats to deliver goods, which deliver goods quickly in a few minutes. Small bridges are built to cross the soil in the middle of the road, which does not stop their work and save us from loss worth millions. This pad printer may look simple, but it's actually a clever invention used to print 2D images on 3D surfaces. As the name implies, it uses a silicone pad to lift the image and press it onto the target object. Because the pad is soft and flexible, it's perfect for printing designs on delicate ceramic items. And since silicone is highly resistant to chemicals, the printer requires very little maintenance. What she found inside this stone will blow your mind. This girl had always been curious about a strange stone sitting in the middle of a park. One day, she finally decided to find out what it did. She picked up a few small pebbles and dropped them inside, and the sound that echoed back instantly reminded her of a sound straight out of a video game. This girl loves to create different things with her own hands, but many people laugh at her on the internet, and now you will understand why. Initially, this girl took an old large barrel and immediately came up with an idea of what to make out of it. So she first sawed the barrel into two parts and then began to create a frame for her future product out of a profile pipe. But now she is welding half of the barrel and the frame together to create something unusual. Now she is attaching the second half of the barrel, and you can probably guess what she is going to do. But now she has started to finish the barrel and has first made a pipe to remove the smoke and a attached it to the barrel. But then she began to create thousands of tiny details so that she could turn this mountain of metal into a beautiful homemade barbecue grill. But now she is painting it and finishing it. And people laugh at her because they think she is poor, because she cannot buy ordinary things in the store. Support the girl with a like and a subscription. This man is making one of the best Turkish desserts in the world. Using a special press, he forms a giant spiral of dough that's fried directly in hot oil until perfectly golden. But the real secret comes next. It's immediately different into cold syrup. This hot and cold contrast creates a shock that locks in flavor, giving it a crispy exterior and a soft, fluffy interior. This guy is taking pictures without a camera using a technique that's 200 years old, and it's still used today for an important reason. Because in the 1800s, Japanese people would start by cleaning the fish and then brush its whole surface with ink. And then a thin sheet of special paper called washi is placed on top and gently pressed so that every scale, fin, and curve left a perfect print because they needed to accurately store the size and species of each fish they caught, which is why they came up with this technique called gyotaku. But over time, it turned into something much more than just record keeping. As after some final touches and coloring, the prints weren't just accurate, but they were beautiful, keeping it as a form of art for centuries. Take a look at how the cows calmly lick this rock with clear enjoyment, almost like they're eating candy. But this red candy is actually a mineral block made with special salt for animals. Just like people, animals also need salt for their bodies. Since domesticated cows can't search for salt on their own while living in barn, this block is created to supply them with their daily salt needs. The customer decided to bet a million with these workers that they would not be able to surprise him when renovating his apartment. But these geniuses came up with something unusual. First, they prepared the wall for future work and applied cement with a special mesh to it. But then the most 
interesting part began because they glued foam plastic to the walls and cut it in a special way. But the most difficult part of the work was yet to come because now they cover the entire foam with cement and then perfectly refine every detail to create a wall that looks like a realistic rock. Give these geniuses a like for winning the argument. At first sight, it may seem like a pineapple or jackfruit, but no, in reality, this is the screw pine pandanus fruit, which the hill people call Kiora fruit. The man happily bites into the fruit, but sees that the outer covering of this fruit is very hard, so this fruit is plucked from the tree and split open to eat the soft parts inside. You may think these people are laying carpets here, but no, they are laying a cement blanket here to prevent riverbank erosion and protect it from collapse. After laying this cement blanket, they are placing long curved iron sticks, fitting them together with a hammer. Then they pour water over the blanket, causing the cement to dissolve and form solid concrete that will stop the river's erosion. This is how underfloor heating is installed. The worker pours small stones onto the ground as a base layer for the heating system. These crushed stones create a stable support for the hot water pipes, preventing deformation and helping heat spread evenly. After that, a layer of cement mortar is added to secure the stones and pipes together. Finally, tiles are laid on top, making the floor smooth, strong, and able to conduct heat faster for more efficient and uniform heating throughout the room. If you ever get a worker like this for your house, trust me, you'll never regret it. The moment he noticed the empty space under the stairs, he got an idea. Why not turn this into a cozy bedroom? Without wasting a second, he measured everything himself and started building right away. He knew that the space below could be perfect for extra storage, so he designed hidden boxes that opened smoothly on their own. And to make it even better, he added a soft mattress on top, turning that unused corner into the perfect little resting spot. Have you ever wondered why some public benches are designed this way? Even though they look stylish, the main purpose is to stop homeless people from from resting in public spaces. These structures are common on the streets of Paris and even in many other parts of the world. They're known as hostile architecture. To fight against this, two French artists created a short video called Fakir's Rest in 2003. In the video, they show that even on the most uncomfortable and unfriendly designs, people can still find a way to rest. Check this out. These strange pale plants aren't a new crop. They're garlic sprouts grown completely in the dark. After planting regular garlic bulbs, villagers cover each one with a tall clay pot, blocking out the sunlight entirely. Without light, the shoots stretch upward looking for the sun, but stay buttery, white, and soft. Over the next few weeks, they grow tall and stringy, feeding off the nutrients packed in the garlic bulb below. When they're just the right height, the pots are lifted to reveal bunches of ghostly white stalks, soft as noodles. The sprouts are gently harvested by hand, washed clean and bundled up for market. They're not bitter like normal garlic. These are sweet, mild, and packed with flavor, perfect for stir-fries and soups. Growing garlic without light? Who would have thought? You cannot even imagine that people are connected to their villages by doing such a dangerous thing. Actually, these are the hilly areas of Nepal where there are no bridges. That is why people together pull thick wires and climb mountains. Then that wire is connected to the motorcycle engine, which acts like a chain pulley, from where they are able to connect with other villages and run their business by easily importing and exporting goods. If you ever go to Japan, you must try these stones. This is called Ishiyaki Tamago, a traditional Japanese method where stones are heated intensely. When eggs are placed on them, they cook instantly, gaining a smoky flavor and a natural rusty appearance. This dish is also quite famous in China.